Canada will send troops and warships to Europe as part of a huge NATO training exercise. It's to counter resurgent Russia. Global Sean O'Shea joins us now from Toronto. Sean? Robin, the possible threat from Russia is one reason Canada is joining its allies to train with NATO's crisis response team next year in Europe, Trident Juncture 2015. This news just as Canada wraps up its annual military exercise in the Arctic. A Canadian strike team lands on a ship, ready to confront the enemy. It's a scenario you might see in a movie, but this is a real-life training mission high in the Canadian Arctic in the past week, as soldiers test their readiness against a real threat. In this dangerous and uncertain world, the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces must be ready for anything. That is true, as true now, as it has ever been. Canadian troops will soon be deployed into a much larger training exercise, joining NATO countries in Europe, simulating the response to an attack on a member state. It's uncertain how large the contingent will be, but is Canada ready for another possible confrontation? Afghanistan made us um, more field deployable because we got a lot of the mechanisms required for rapid deployment and for sustainment in the field. So I think Canada is in pretty good position for expeditionary operations. The exercises are being planned at a time of growing concern about Russia and fears of more expansion beyond Ukraine. Prime Minister Stephen Harper watched the Arctic exercises up close. He makes no secret of his contempt for the Russian leader. We see the imperial ambitions of Vladimir Putin, Putin who seems determined that for Russia's neighbors, there shall be no peace. The Conservative government has bolstered Canada on the military stage, a strategy not without risks and possible great expense. It depends a lot on what Russia does. If Russia really uh, expands and, and, and um, launches a real invasion force into eastern Ukraine, then uh, NATO will find itself having to really increase its uh, robust response capability. And the price? NATO says member countries should be spending about 2% of GDP on defense. Canada's got a ways to go. We only spend about 1.3% on the military right now. Robin. Global Sean O'Shea in Toronto. Thanks, Sean.